Living off the land, says, and underneath all that snow, spring seeds are champing at the bit. They're stirred their new lives in the sun. Don't be surprised when spring rolls around and your farm needs some tidying up. Don't be surprised, indeed. Let's get out there. Make a difference. Extra speed. Another day of farm chores. Be thinking of you. Kiss, kiss. A few more days and these will be gold starred. And uh, then I will apply yonder fairy dust. Robin sends me 50 more wood. Dear Grimith, I would like to give you some information about the upcoming event, the Feast of the Winter Star. Kent is my target. The water is green over there. Hmm. That's probably fine. Don't worry about it. It's probably fine. The train approaching. Yeah. Right train. Ah. Okay, legend row. Fresh fish eggs. <laughs> Each Holy shit. Okay. Well, I mean it is a legendary fucking fish, you know? That's, that's worth a bit. <laughs> okay. And, uh, the golden animal cracker being there. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm, yeah. Get two, if I get two of that a day, not too bad. We could, uh, you know what? I don't hate it. I don't hate it. And that was a change that was made very recently. Okay. That fruit will be done in a day, uh, so on and so forth. I'm sure some of the crops in here, the wheat is done. Got uh, some red peppers, some parsnips, some eggplants. I even uh, continue to work on decorating this in a number of days. Maybe that could be today's project. Maybe. All right, we got big ostrich now. And uh, looks like we got an ostrich egg uh, snuck in here. Well, no, we did feed the uh, eh, ostrich a uh, golden animal cracker. That would explain it. Okay. Let's get that shipped. Delightful. I guess I'll also fuck around with those. And this. How much more do I have left in that? A little bit more. Just a little bit. Okay. Put that in there. Sell these to the island we go. My honey is most likely done. Those fairy roses still aren't, though. They do take a while to grow. That's okay. Here on, uh... On Chaos Island Farm. <laughs> Park. You get out of the way. Don't you be treading... On, uh, what I'm doing there. Whoa, I wasn't expecting the horse to block me. Also, that tile is, uh, still there. Well, there still are a number of tiles. Had not been covered yet. Just by time. Do, 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 do. There's another four prismatic shards. That takes me up to 61 gems. Let's go ahead and grab this aquatic sanctuary. And give me give me a pair of Junimo chests. We'll have extra chests now that we can buy for 15, and they connect to the same, like, small pocket dimension. They do, they do, they do. Hey, don't tell anyone about this place, okay? I want to keep it exclusive. 
Yeah, that's yeah, fine. That's fine. Thinking about where I want to place the Junimo chest, I do like having one on the island. Not opposed to that. It's a three by three grid here. And that could say, uh, basically be where I shoved star fruit, drug, I don't know. I, I've used them in different ways over the course of my time playing Stardew Valley. I don't have any strong commitment one way or the other. I've used them to try and hijink uh, fruit and beans in them. Use them for a number of uh, nefarious activities. Okay. Let's put these in here. Next thing I want to do is take a look at what I would have to spend to, like, produce things. Like, if I want to, say, actually empty out my pantry. I know all these things I've held on to that could have potentially yielded me money sooner, that could have potentially been helpful in that regard. Because the dehydrator will convert stuff quick, but there's going to be a loss of money there because we're spending five. Like, if I were, if I were to use it to, say, make dried starfruit... We would have to spend five star fruit in the dehydrator to get like one unit of dried star fruit, which, while it does sell for a decent amount of money, doesn't sell as much as five star fruit wine from five kegs. But it'll be much quicker for you to pull it from a dehydrator than you would from five kegs. So you have a limitless amount of stuff. And also, just if you have the resources to say make dehydrators. The dehydrator is, uh, the clay you could work hard on accumulating, though, uh, it would be rougher for me to farm that, uh, with the changes made to, like, the, the random number generator in the background in 1.6. I could still do that. Uh, fire quartz ends up being a limiter since I have used that so much for refined quartz to make an ass load of garden pots. I've also used some clay to make those, too. Alternatively, you could make more kegs. Uh, we're capped here actually on the amount of wood I have, though I would run into an oak resin situation. Iron bar is not a problem. I've made 475 of these suckers. Uh, you could also make preserves jars. Uh, we could buy wood, stone, and coal. Uh, we could get uh, the things that we have converted to, you know, pickles and jam, and that would take longer and also require like more of this stuff. It would sell for some money. Fish smokers, if I wanted to sell the fish, we need jellies for that. And I do have some, but uh, cave jelly is what I'm capped on. If I want to get jellies, I would have to fish for those, basically. So I'm not only seeing that as a way for, like, great profit. Though in the Trios multiplayer game, which has been suspended indefinitely, uh, that, you know, I, I have seen, like, several fish smokers used to reasonable effect and value. It really just is all about how you want to play the video game. No rule or regulation. It is an open field. Like, you want to be a slime rancher? Like, how would you like to approach your Stardew experience? Doesn't matter. As long as you have fun. Presumably. So long as you have fun. So I want to make more uh, heavy tappers. Do I want to rip up some of the... I'm gonna rip up some of the tree farm there. Do I wanna go looking for more beans? Do I wanna get a magic rock candy today? What's the what's the plan? Do I wanna do some decorating? Alright. Uh Take all this stuff. Deluxe fish tank, get out of here. Aquatic sanctuary, new best friend. We'll put the banners... Nah. Well, we can have it look like that. I like that. 
Uh, and let's start putting things in here. You can still have the sailor cap. I like you with the sailor cap. Stuff that sucker. And uh, the legend fish, I could also fit in there, but is currently elsewhere. Okay, I'll take a trip to the Skull Cavern today just to fuck around. I obviously don't have much in the way of staircases. Uh, I will get extra ore from ore nodes. So that's neat. Is there something like I'm really looking to do with the radioactive bars? Or the magic bait? Like, I know I have like a, a clump of like 50 ish, 60 ish magic bait uh, on my iridium rod, advanced iridium rod. I'm not looking to do any more fishing. That would require more than that. So no to that. Uh, I'm fine with uh, heavy tappers. I don't recall how many more I would want for the situation I've got going on over there. And yeah, I get distracted by varying things. It's not a surprise. I don't remember which of these have things on them, though. Yeah. And I'm not just able to override. I have to slowly peel off. I put the wrong fucking tapper back on there. You dumb son of a bitch. A panning spot appeared. I know there was a space here that didn't actually have pathway to. I guess I'm still keeping this for now. Emphasis on the for now bit. Oh. Sent that to hell. Oh well. Right, you ended up being a green rain type one tree. Again, much to my consternation. An annoyance. You turn into a right and proper good tree, lad. Go uh, back in with the tappers. Good for you. Um, I think we can grab this. I still leave the coal in here? I did. No. Give me that. Okay. Well, let's cause a little bit of trouble. Not too much trouble, though. Just a little bit. I might not even eat the magic rock candy, you know? I gotta be pro a provider for my family. Let's check Sandy's shop, since apparently she sells pants now. When the fuck ever. Let's look at some pants. Too much for decorating that, uh, that shed, by the way. Farmer pants? Okay. So they're just in a, uh, a base color to be dyed. And also, buy some shorts. Long dress and a skirt. Heard for a hot summer's day? You know, that's... Temperatures have oscillated in South Carolina, as they do. It is warmer tonight than it was a few weeks ago. It actually is shorts weather, and could very well be that on Christmas Day. Well, uh, we'll buy a pair of shorts. Time for change. Oh, yeah, that... <laughs> that looks that looks great those don't look like shorts they look like briefs <laughs> son of a bitch I'm in I gotta old world rug huh her the old money like I said, just a little bit of a fucking around day. We're uh, we're working on getting these uh, these warp totems consumed, and then I suppose I will get the return scepter. Give me this magic rock candy. 
I'll leave the uh, coconuts and cactus fruit. Let's just go do a little bit of exploration. Should probably equip the damn fairy, huh? Who knows, that might be like cheating. I do find combat, like, as a whole enjoyable in this game, but I definitely do think that enemies have themselves an ass load of hit points. Like, an uncomfortable amount of hit points. Now, sure, this is, you know, in the stuff here. I'm in uh, the spooky skull cavern. But listen, man, I'm using animation canceling to swing this weapon, like, faster. You know, we're working on some crits. Like, I could leverage some more damage. I could also, like, take a slingshot, fill it full with, like, a bunch of ore and slam that shit all around. Kind of like wearing these goggles with that shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. But also the pants. We'll wear this temporarily. I damaged you. Don't you slither away from me. I knocked that fucker so far away from me, I didn't want to pursue the engagement. What a time. What a time. What am I trying to say, like? Yeah, like, I could, like, arrange it so that I dealt more damage. But also, what the fuck, man? So, okay, the primary draw of this video game is not the combat. And, as I noted, I do enjoy it overall. But enemies do have themselves a whole lot of fucking hit points. Now, we will be doing more damage once I actually eat this. You know, plus five attack and then plus five defense on top of the luck and mining and speed. Yeah, that is helpful. Pepperex, my old friend? Entity, individual, get back here. You didn't drop the things I want in life. Okay, I guess I'm going down the ladder. What are how many golden mystery boxes I have at home? Since I can trade those for magic rock candies too from the raccoon shop. Can't carry the golden ore, that's unacceptable. Throw away a couple of basilisk paws and keep it moving. With my goggles. See enemies in here? I also have eyewear that I got from here. Don't worry about it. This song again, eh? I actually think I want to try killing these slimes over here. See if I can use the slime bodies to generate loot and plunder. You'll pay for this, Captain Planet. You know, stuff like that. Come down this one. Eight levels! Ow! Uh, some fire quartz. 
We previously discussed how that could be of use. Almost 500 triple shot espressos. That seems good. Seems good. Java Ring. Really do enjoy it. Glad I got one. You know, we could use that ring slot for other things. Like increasing my damage. That is not a cherry bomb I am interested in. Another two rain totems? Okay. Sack the carrot. No, Marnie's animals, no. They could eat that, no. Two more fire quartz. No. No, I'm giving more credence to the concept of a dehydrator, and that can assist in clearing out the pantry and uh, pushing me further along the money tray. Not that I've tried super hard on that front. I put in some effort. Refined quartz. We definitely want to pick that up. The jade is also something I am deeply interested in. Just a nice, you know, relaxing visit. I'm not desperate for the 100 gems that I would get from shipping 500 fruit. I'd probably push harder on that if I got it at the start of the season, just to do it. Prismatic shard, all right, hello, my friend. Let's go ahead and put this on, just so I have room for that. Which means I think I'll take the goggles off now. <laughs> oh. That is properly lined up. That was actually Iridium Ore, not an Iridium Crab. Makes sense given the type of level I'm on here, in the desert Skull Cavern. Come here, mummies. Can't fit the diamond. Sack the sap. All right, more mummies. A galaxy soul. Well, that does certainly sell for an amount of money. Irrefutably so. It cannot be disputed. Get rid of this lime. It's 5,000 G. Hello, ghost. Farewell, ghost. No way, come back. I want to haunt you. No. I'm chained to this floor. No. This is the worst. You escaped. All right, we're just leaving. More mummies. Not a problem for me. Just not a problem for me. Thanks, Crusader Weapon. I talked about this before, like, you know, if I just had, like, a Crusader backup weapon, I could then have, like, a Vampiric Primary, which would free up my Trinket slot, which, you know, 
If I were to then use a parrot, could definitely have me generating more wealth. We saw how many, uh, how much, the way of money I did make with the damn parrot when I had it equipped in these situations. But also, it's fine. I'm fine with Fairy being my companion. Fairy got plenty of screen time. We learned many things with Friend Parrot. And I'm also, you know, not in a rush to reach perfection. Though, uh, year three summer may What am I trying to say here? We may end up reaching it sooner than year three summer. It may end up getting done next season. Just due to circumstances happening. I think I want the earth crystal more than I want. The crab cakes. I got, what, 20-ish crab cakes at home? Yeah. Especially since, you know, I, uh, I make a, you know, one million and a half with my, my kegs now. I've got the, the casks. At home that I will be uh, using fairy dust on to have them spit out revenue to me in a few days. That'll be pretty nice. I need 10 million for the clock, and I need another million for the two remaining obelisks. So, yeah, we're not that far from it. Pink cakes, well, I gotta bring those home with me, so I guess the algae suffers. And the slime. And the sap. Okay. Well, real talk. I have 16 beans. I'll have like, 22 spaces tomorrow. Just an evaluation of whether I feel like, you know, will I put any of them in the seed maker? So how many? Again, for a goal of 500 that I don't have that much time to reach. That I'm not really pushing for. It's something to work toward, right? Something to do? It's something to do. Just like the other stuff I'm doing. Just something to do. As I've gotten older, I have been less into sandbox games, which Stardew Valley, it is. Like, yeah, sure. Grandpa's thing, you go to the shrine there in the top left corner, expect me in the third gear. But this really is a sandbox game. You're not on, say, like, compared to, like, the Harvest Moon for the original Super Nintendo, as buggy as that fucker is. Uh, you're not on, like, an actual time limit of two and a half years. Although, you know, time doesn't pass uh, at night. You get a whole lot of shit done. Which I and so many folks have done in that game over the years. That's not something I ever recorded. And it's also, like, it's just... The game is too outdated and too jank that I, like, I... Like, while I have a passing interest in playing Harvest Moon again, it's just like, no, I would rather play a, a frankly, better game. I played a number of the other uh, Harvest Moons. 
time pressure is definitely a thing across the board. And, uh, in those, I would say. Which is fine, you know, time management being like an element of gameplay. I'm fine by that. This has as much of that as you want it to have. It's pretty flexible in that regard. And I still know friends who are like into strategy and tactics games who get stressed out about, oh, 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 I push hard. It's like, you could. And you certainly see me like push for various things over the course of playing this, but the series has also been laid back in varying ways. We've had corporate Griffith moments, but also like, kind of a, Oh, I have a fair command of this video game. I know what's up. We, we've we accomplished. I'm not worried about it. I got nothing to prove. <laughs> I'm kicking ass. And that would be the case even without animation canceling, though it certainly does make things uh, quicker and more convenient. Guess I'm carrying the pink cake, so with me, I'll give one to Haley tomorrow. Uh, let me put those away. Naturally, I could dye these pants, but I'm kind of tickled by the idea of having them on, and it could just look like I'm wearing a toga, you know? Mm, the airflow is really nice. There's something else I want to wear with my shorts that totally aren't briefs. Let's have a look. Look at a couple of things. And the fluffy shirt. You know what? We'll wear the toga for now. Toga. Toga. What about hat? What about hat? That's a good question. And I think I know the answer. For that. We'll have to go to tomorrow in game. For now. We have shipped one of everything. That's what that notification is going to have been for. That sound effect. Good. We'll confirm that for the video real quick. Full shipment. Yippee.